Good afternoon. I'll start with an item on the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Alan Doss, the Secretary General, Special Representative for the Democratic Republic of the Congo, has formally accepted an invitation by the Congolese government to contribute a planning and liaison team to a joint DRC-Rwanda military operation. The operation targets ethnic Rwandan Hutu militias based in the Eastern DRC. The decision was made yesterday as Alan Doss toured Eastern Congo to assess the impact of the military operation on civilians. The UN mission in the DRC says it will soon dispatch a group of staff military officers to the headquarters of the operation in Goma. Their mandate is strictly confined to planning and liaison. The goal of their assignment is to help increase the presence and gradual inclusion of UN civilian staff in the planning of the military operation. These civilian staff members will work on issues affecting humanitarian coordination, general civilian affairs, and the demobilization, resettlement, or repatriation of former Congolese or ethnic Rwandan Hutu fighters. Noting that there has been a marked increase in the number of Rwandan Hutu fighters willing to be repatriated to Rwanda with the mission's support, UN officials say that the support for repatriation remains an option. So far, 39 combatants have agreed to be repatriated to Rwanda, and another 57 have recently registered for repatriation. And on this matter, Assistant Secretary General for Peacekeeping Operations, Edmund Mullet, is briefing the Security Council now on these operations in the DRC. He's also uh, briefing on the Sudan. Those briefings are taking place in the Security Councils and closed consultations, and Mr. Moulet has informed us that he intends to speak to you at the stakeout after those consultations are over, so save those questions on the DRC for him.